it's Jennifer and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about something that I've come to realize is really important. It's self-care. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a context about why I'm doing this and also why I think it's so important to do so. If you want to skip this part to see what actually is my self-care routine, then um, I'll let you know at which point I start talking about the actual self-care routines I'm doing but I recently had a personal experience that really made me realize the value of self-care. I'm the type of person who uh, basically run everything at a million miles an hour and I'm always doing things I always like feeling productive like you know if I'm sitting down I'm like oh instead of like just sitting down I should just like sit down at a cafe and also do side hustles or something like that so I'm always on the go and I'm always doing something there's something addictive about it I think it's kind of like running on like adrenaline there are definitely times when this kind of aspect of my personality is really useful for example in work and studies like I can focus and just pretty much smash it out or just do the long hours that I need to in order to get the job done but it, it also means that I'm quite stubborn and don't take things like self-care or taking time out or like just relaxing seriously enough and that is fine in the short run but because I work at I work as a corporate commercial lawyer so basically I'm always on the go and the more I add to my daily routine, the more busy I become and the less the time I have to really look after myself. And the other part of it is also that I don't take sleep seriously enough, which is a really bad issue and that's probably a topic for another video. When it comes down to it, like it can get pretty negative in the sense that I actually don't know when I need to say no or when I need to stop doing things and just take a break. Um, in the last month or so, I've experienced a couple of really bad stresses that have really taken the toll on my mental health and then consequently my physical health. And this is the point where I've really realized that, oh my god, I actually need to just slow down and just rest or, you know, just take that time out and, like, tell myself that it's okay to rest or that it's okay to say no to things and you, I don't have to go around trying to please everyone and things like that. Stress is different for everyone. For me, it was an emotional stress that stemmed from how mundane certain things at work had become, which is a completely new thing for me. I've never felt that way about anything before. And it all kind of just spirals out of control when you don't take that time out to really reassess what's going on and things like that. These things always kind of start slow by first affecting your energy levels, um, your mindset, and then because it's so hard to get out of that mindset and just tell yourself, no, just get over it, like, get through it. Because it's hard to do that, it just kind of all spirals out of control. Anyway, at least, so a lesson has been learned. I can't just always be so strict on myself in terms of doing things or anything like that. I need to be you know, more caring of myself. I basically can't just deal with things by telling my, my mind to shut up and just work or telling my mind to shut up and just move on and do things. I need to actually address what's actually affecting me. I know, I sound a little bit like a freak, but I'm hoping that some of you out there actually can relate to this. I think a lot of the times when people talk about self-care, they never really talk about... Um, what it is that made them want to take care of themselves or why it's important to take care of yourself. And I think it's especially hard for like type A personalities or like other personalities that are kind of like that out there who find it hard to just slow down, take a break, or just even to reassess emotionally what's going on and deal with it. Let me know if you do actually relate to what I'm describing, let me know in the comment section down below by just like saying like, yes girl, or like, yes. <laughs> so let's get into the video and I hope you guys enjoy this one. Bye.
Thank <laughs> you.